We cheated death. I mean, we absolutely 100% cheated death. We all knew, we all knew in our heart of hearts, we were not gonna see the sun come up the next morning. When we made that breakout through enemy lines, I remember quite vividly being so scared. My name is uh, William Bill Albrecht, or uh, many people know me just by my call side of Vietnam, which was Hawk. I joined the Army in 1966 as a young man, 18 years old, myself and my best buddy, Joe Murphy. Graduated from Alman Catholic High School, so we we're already regimented. I mean, the nuns and the priests already had us in line for the military, so we we're pretty good there. So off I go to Fort Benning, Georgia, Benning School for Boys, uh, Infantry Officer Candidate School, in April of 1967. And uh, it was tough. It was very, very tough, very physically demanding. So I arrived in Vietnam in August. I turned 21 mid-August and became uh, 03 captain uh, a couple weeks later. So uh, arguably the youngest captain in Vietnam, certainly the most you know, the youngest in uh, Special Forces. So I went to uh, Bu Prang, which was a very, very hot area in Southern Tukor up in the Central Highlands. I went there and we were preparing for an onslaught. It was, this, it was uh, this is the time of year, fall, early fall, and into the falls when the uh, North Vietnamese came after the rainy season and they would come down in, in, in one of their offensive. And everything but everything was pointing that there was a massive buildup coming down from the north. I put in a request, put it in code, sent the request to headquarters, request to uh, abandon Firebase Cape. Didn't take long, came back and said, permission tonight. I said, hmm, give me a piece of paper. So I wrote another one. We are leaving Firebase K. And, uh, and I sent this one in. And I didn't even wait for a reply. I started making preparations and getting everybody. We'd spike the tubes with thermite grenades. We started destroying all the documents, uh, smashing all the radios we uh, had and then. And we had to do this. Uh, very low profile was because the NVA were, were all, I mean, they were looking right at us. They could see us. So we had to do this very surreptitiously. I'm starting to hear things at the other end. So I ran to the other end of the south end of the camp and the NVA was starting their assault. Where you could hear them clipping the wires and, uh, and it was a very steep assault. You could hear the little sandals ruffling through there. So I came back and I said, boys, we're going and we're going now. So we had to leave without any kind of air support whatsoever. And uh, right down Ambush Hill. And when I laid there on that hill and before I gave the final order to march. I was scared. Oh God, I was scared. And uh, I was talking on the radio to Spooky. I'm saying, hey Spooky, where are you? Where are you? Over. And I'm looking at my RTO, my radio telephone operator, Big Tex Rogers. I said, Texas, damn radio doesn't work. And he goes, sir, you got to let go of that push to talk switch. My hand was frozen on that. And I realized a couple things. One, if I had any chance to get these guys out of here tonight, me and Danny and the other guys, I, I, I've got to get a hold of myself. I've got to rein these emotions in. And two, I'm not going to uh, see the sunrise. I will be dead tonight. I will die. And it's a few times that the, the, the fates allow you to know where and when you're going to die. But I knew it was going to be right there at the gap heading into Ambush Hill. That's where it was going to be. I knew that. And at that moment in time, I looked up at the Almighty, the skies. It was a beautiful night. And I thought, Lord, I, I know the big ranger, right? I said, Lord, I know, I know that tonight's a night. I know that. You know what? I'm okay. I'm okay with this. But just let me do one thing. Let me get as many of these fine, brave young men to safety as I can before you take me. And then, then you know, I'm ready to go. I, I was no longer afraid. I was no longer anything but... Let's go, let's take care of business. And we stepped off into the night. <laughs> 